Jesus is my rock, that's how I roll. Welcome to another episode of California Preaching. Huge news! As of today, I am officially an empty nester. <sighs> it's a lot. Brooks got on an airplane and she flew to New Orleans today. She's visiting a friend there and I just so happened to have a show there next week. This is totally Holy Spirit activated, it had nothing to do with me. And yeah, there's a Wilson Phillips show there next week. So I'm going to see her in New Orleans and then I'm going to New York City to meet up with her. So I'm super excited about it. I'm going to help her move in. Yeah, all three of the kids live out of the house now. They'll come home if they know what's good for them. If they don't want to get slapped silly. We just finished up California Healing. We do that every Sunday. We were all in tears. And it's so cool because I never know where it's going to go. It always ends up being something completely different. I just want to give you guys another little reminder that salvation is received and not achieved because I, uh, I did not read my Bible all week. Okay. At all. Nothing. Nada. And I just have to remind myself by grace that I am saved and the Lord pours his mercy out onto me. And if I go a week without reading the Bible, that's okay. I'm not you know, gonna beat myself up over, okay. I just, I mean, really? Come on guys. Can I get a hallelujah and an amen? How beautiful is this? But all week, every morning, I've been waking up with the dread in my head in bed. It's, it's drudgery, you know? It's like, it takes forever to get me out of bed, get two feet on the ground. But the first thing I've been saying when I get up out of bed is thank you for these next 24 hours, Lord, even though they're not guaranteed. Thank you, Father, for my breath. Although I've had the dread in my head in bed, I keep reminding myself throughout the day that my joy is non-negotiable. Kathy Lee Gifford would be very proud of me right now. Kathy, if you're watching, I never forgot what you said to me. So Cal Healing, the whole theme this month is born to worship, and I found that when I worship, and this is biblical, I feel a joy that is kind of unspeakable, a joy that surpasses all understanding. When I say worship, you know, I don't necessarily mean turning on the music and singing along. I mean saying, I love you, Holy Spirit. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. I love you, God. Oh, my husband's calling me. Well, I love him too. I guess I should answer. If you guys want to get a Lord on board, I got him on Amazon. I'll put him in the description in this video. How cute is he? Look how big his feet are. Beautiful day in Santa Barbara. It is a beautiful uh, day in Santa Barbara. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. You've got to get this under control. I feel so bad for you. My back is tweaked. Why don't you try saying the serenity prayer over and over again to see if that puts you to sleep? Do not. And whenever something else enters your mind, you go right to back to God. Grant me the serenity. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, mm -hmm. the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I just think that is... Um, you're leaving me hanging here. Oh. Look, you guys have all heard that for decades. And it's not in the Bible, though. You know no, that. but that's okay. But that, that I've gone to many A meetings and Al-Anon meetings with friends of mine that were in the program. And I used to go to, there was a window there where I went to Al-Anon for a while before I even met you. Mm -hmm. um, and I've heard the serenity prayer so many times. And think about those words. God, grant me the, the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Mm -hmm. Okay, that by itself. Massive. The courage to change the things I can doubly massive and the wisdom to know the difference now it is so beautiful so powerful and so complicated it's like impossible to get your head around that mm -hmm. god grant me the serenity to accept the things that i cannot change how do you figure that out the courage to change the things i can may be a little bit easier but still really really complicated to mm -hmm. figure out mm -hmm. and the wisdom to know the difference well, that's you know? why you're asking god that's... to give you the wisdom to know the difference <sighs> Because without God's if, wisdom, our human mind can't really figure that out. You know when you turned up uh, uh, a stereo when you were a kid, there would be the little clicking sound? Mm -hmm. If if there was a hundred clicks, mm -hmm. if, if you could just turn the dial like out of a hundred clicks, like two or three clicks in terms of embracing and understanding and knowing and living that simple prayer, we could change the world. Amen. It would literally change the world. So I'm hoping, because I, when I think about that, I'm lost. I'm, I'm, I'm really going to dedicate myself to try and gain the wisdom to know the difference. I love that you're gonna dedicate yourself to that. Me too, I'll do it with you. Yeah. That could be a little project. We went to therapy yesterday and we, we had a little bit of a rough session, but I think a yeah. lot came out of it, don't yeah. you? You know, there's so much that needs to get done throughout the day. You know, Bill gets a little stressed about all the different things that 
have to be checked off yeah. the list. And yeah. for me, I'm a little bit more a go with the flow. If it happens today, it happens. Yeah, but control. that's not the issue. The issue is that when I get urgent or intense mm -hmm. uh, or passive aggressive, mm -hmm. whether it has something to do with the kids or work or money, make her, I could sort of trigger her anxiety. And it was starting to happen in the session. And yeah. I said to our therapist, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not even upset with China right now. There's just something that I'm urgency. And when I'm dealing with it in the way that I'm, the way that I'm used to dealing with it doesn't work and I have to change. And it's really weird because they, that line, you can't change the spots on a leopard. Like literally China wants me to change my DNA. And I'm not saying that that's bad. It's good. She wants me to change my DNA in terms of how I communicate with her and with the kids. And I problem solve. I'm just an East Coaster and I'm old school. So I problem solve the way my parents generation did the way my father did I mean we really are working hard we're trying to make progress it's not easy but I think change can come we've proven it before in our relationship if this relationship matters enough to you you'll change if this matter relationship matters enough to me I'll change uh, I'm not an avocado I can't please everybody I don't even know what that means everybody having... loves avocados they do yes anybody who's allergic to an avocado we're gonna take a moment to pray for you before we end this video. I never even had an avocado until I was like 25. I'd never even heard of one. I was, you know, That's not acceptable. lower middle class, six kids, avocado. You couldn't <laughs> even get one in New York, <laughs> unless you were like super rich. The most important thing is that we're both really committed to change. Definitely. Because love is like heaven. Do you know the rest? No. But it hurts like hell. I was like having a, that feels so good on my back. Something we're really working on in the relationship yeah. is connection, intimacy, presence in the moment, hard to do, and I really like it. So I was talking with my University of Angels on California Healing. That's what I call them, my University of Angels. That's what I call us. Isn't that cute? It was such a rough week. This week, this Sunday, we cried. I cried. A couple of, a lot of other people cried. It was just a really, really intense, very emotional, palpable meeting in terms of like you could feel everybody's emotions. And I knew before, before we even got on, I turned to Andrea and I was like, this is going to be a raw meeting. It's going to be very intense. Did you know I did the voice of Batman for, um, for Justice League? I'm Batman. You do a good Batman. I'm legend. Bye. No. This is four. It's, I, have a, I have a YouTube channel called California Preaching. Not sure if you um, know about it. Shooting for your show without even giving me a heads up, a warning, asking permission, nothing. No, because if I give you a heads up, you're like, all right, so um, here's what we're going to talk about this week. I guarantee you that no one's going to even understand <laughs> what you just said. Hey, what we're talking about this week. Do I talk like that? Yes. Do I talk like that? Yes, you have air in your voice. So, honey, I talk like that. Yes, you and do. I have air in my voice. You do. It's slightly exaggerated, this I will admit. Boring. Oh, she drove by this sushi restaurant in Santa Barbara, and it's like literally a three-month waiting period. And she said, I want to go to that place. I said, forget it. It's a three-month three waiting period. You can't get a reservation. And she went, honey, this is your reservation. My like, reservation, this is my reservation. I mean, could there be anything more obnoxious, really? This Talk about you. We should have put that into your episode about humility, by the way. Yeah. Humility, yeah, really? Right. Humility? This is my humility. <laughs> I just got a mammogram, and I'm waiting for my results. They found just a little something on my right breast a couple weeks ago, and they wanted to do some extra imaging. So prayers, prayers up. I'm sure it's fine, but I only know one boob joke. Why are saggy boobs always so angry? Because they never get any support. Well, this has officially been the longest day of my life. The mammogram came back clear, P-T-L. I was a little nervous because that was the third time they had me come back. So I was very, very relieved. Okay, so I wanted to share something with you guys. And that is that, you know, Billy and I, like we said, we had a really intense therapy session yesterday. But one thing that my therapist said that really struck me was where there's high emotion, there's low intelligence. I thought to myself like, wow, it's so true. When Billy and I get really super emotional, kind of like our intelligence just goes down the drain. We just say things that are dumb and we don't really think things through. And we just kind of verbally vomit on one another without actually thinking about the consequences of our words. That's stupidity. I mean, the Bible talks about being able to bridle our tongue and that it's actually impossible to bridle the tongue. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. During the six months where Billy and I were trying to figure out what we were gonna do, we were sort of taking some time apart, 
um, I really felt lost. I really just didn't feel like myself. I really felt like a huge part of me was missing and, and a huge part of me was missing. I realized, and it's a very old quote and I don't know if you've ever heard it, but the quote is, you wanna find somebody where the holes in your head fit the bumps in theirs. That is Billy and I to a T. If you have somebody in your life, a partner, where you feel like his holes fit your bumps, <laughs> or vice versa, your bumps fit his holes. If you've found someone like that, then I think you're golden. I think you've definitely found your person. Peace of Christ. Hey, my sweet eternal friends. I look forward each and every Sunday to being with my small community of Holy Spirit activated ladies. Yes, yes, yes. So just come and watch God's miracles unfold as we listen to the powerful testimonies and we pray and we worship and we do short little Bible studies together. California Healing is every Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. PST, and the link to that is in my description. All you have to do is head on over to California Healing tier on my Patreon to join the live session every single Sunday. If you can't make it for the live sessions, the awesome news is that all levels of my Patreon will have access to the recorded sessions of California Healing, which is really great. So I'm so excited to talk with each and every one of you. I love just getting to know you guys on such a personal level. It's so awesome. Listen, we're not a church, but we support the search. Peace of Christ.